Last time on Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts Reviews, we had a look at the legendary Super Saiyan Broly figure. Now we're going to take a look at the final form Frieza figure. Find out what happens today. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on everybody, um, whenever I do that with the figure arts figures, that little intro, if any any real Dragon Ball Z fan knows what that is, every time you would watch an episode of Dragon Ball Z, I, I really don't have to explain it, but the guy would always narrate what happens what happened last last episode, and then he says, find out what happens today, I just found it, find it really funny, <laughs> but um, I just got this free Frieza figure in the mail. I got him off Amazon for kind of a high price. Uh, I wanted to get him before he jumped up to like the price sellers uh, selling for it. But um, I'm gonna show you guys the packaging real quick. Then we'll get into the accessories. Um, we'll show you a figure comparison too. Uh, I'll get into the figure and the articulation. So this is the Frieza figure packaging. It's like the same. It's the same size as uh, uh, Piccolo's. Uh, figure packaging right here. There's the front of it right there with the SH figure arts on the top left. Then we got the final form freezer right here on the left right there. It says Funimation, Dragon Ball Z right there. That's the band, the toy animation right there. Then we got the Tamashi Nations and then the Bandai right there. Ages 15 and up. And then we got the cool uh, side of it of the figure with the little dotted uh, picture right there, which is my favorite, probably my favorite part of the uh, packaging, and we get the other side of it right here, picture of Frieza, his name, and then SH Figure Arts, um, bottom of it with choking hazard warning and everything, uh, the top of it says Death Ball, and then you get Final Four Frieza, and then there is the back of the packaging right there, and if anyone has this um, Vegeta, if you notice, he has that weird face where it looks like he's taking a crap, that's when Frieza was choking the hell out of him. That's what that face is for. Because a lot of people didn't know what that uh, facial expression was that the Saiyan, Ar uh, Saiyan Armor Vegeta came with, or Scouter Vegeta. But, um, let me get a little... Let's get to the accessories. So, uh, I'll be right back, and I'll have the accessories out for you guys. But first, some quick comparisons. It is the quick figure comparison. I have Frieza on the rock. Frieza is a lot, he's shorter than Android 18, he's pretty much the same size as Gohan, I don't have Gohan right now, but Broly Tower's over him, Goku's a lot taller than him, <laughs> and Android 18's even taller than him, so there's a quick figure comparison right there, and yes, he's standing on the rock, so it makes him look taller, but, um, there, that's how much taller Android 18 is to, uh, Frieza, but, that's the figure comparison, whoops. Next, let's take a look at some accessories. Okay, so here's some of the accessories. Frieza does come with a lot of accessories. When you get the figure and open the packaging, the packaging part comes in two layers. This is the top part that Frieza and like his hands and uh, other heads come in. And then there's, this one has like the tail, these accessories right here, which is what I'm gonna show you right now real, real quick. Uh, he comes with two tails. This is more the basic tail. I like this tail a lot more. It's more uh, curled and stuff. Pretty cool tail right there. That's the one I always have him using. But um, he also comes with this longer tail as well. You can use it to choke Vegeta or Goku or whoever. Just wrap this part around their neck and it works fine. Um, also, it detaches right here. And it's just on a ball joint. So remember when uh, Goku did the spirit bomb and uh, kind of beat the crap out of Frieza and destroyed him a little bit and he had half his tail so that's what that's for right there and it's on a uh, peg right there so you just peg it back in and it swivels and uh, both of them Frieza has a uh, insert for the peg right there you can just peg it right in there and there's that tail and they're on a ball hinge so they have some pretty good articulation and this tail as well and that's the one I always have them with that's my favorite tail that he comes with um, but those are the two tails Frieza comes with. He also comes with a basic Tamashii Nation stand right here. The stand, the uh, leg part, and then the part that clamps and holds the figure right here. Uh, also, he comes with the death beam right here. 
which is pretty cool. They did a pretty good job on it. I'm happy with it. Uh, it has a, a hole for a peg, which is for the stand. So if you want to pose him while he's doing the death beam, you can do that. Either that way or, whoops, and you could have it this way as well. So, pretty cool. Um, he also comes with the death ball as well. And he comes with this little piece right here, and you just peg it into the death ball right there. And then you just, if you see the little opening right there, you just snap it around his wrist. And there you go. You can also just, um, a little hole right there, you can just put it on his finger if you really wanted to. It looks fine like that as well. And also, he comes with this really cool rock base that I like. And you see, Frieza comes with a pair of feet that are only meant for this rock base. They peg right into it. Because you could rec recreate that iconic scene right before where he kills Krillin and Goku goes all crazy and goes Super Saiyan. Uh, let me show you those feet right now. He comes with three pairs of feet. These are the uh, peg ones. He also comes with the regular feet, the same exact feet I just showed you, but this is so he could stand. The other one's peg into this rock, and then he had his toes are kind of clenched right here, like if he's in the air doing a kick or something. I mean, they, they did a good job on them, nice shading on them. I see the, uh, the lines are sculpted on his toes right there. Same with the fingernails are painted as well. Did some sculpting on the bottom as well, which is pretty cool. These ones are... Same thing with these, and the ones with the pegs as well. Sculpt and paint, nice shading as well. And these feet right here, every uh, one of the feet, they each have an L. See this one, the L right there? That's for the left foot, and then you get the, uh, I don't know if you can see the R, but this is the right foot. And uh, you just peg these in right here onto this rock base. And... And there you go, you get a Frieza posing on this rock, which is pretty cool. So, I like that rock base he came with. And those are the feet that he comes with. He also comes with eight different hands, but only two pairs of hands. And then he has two pointing finger hands. He comes with a pair of these hands, the uh, resting open hands, where he's just chilling, I guess. <laughs> There's those right there. Um, he also comes with the open palm blasting hands. Oh, I'm sorry, he comes with 10 hands. I forgot. Hold on. The open palm blasting hands. He doesn't come with 8, he comes with 10 hands. He comes with 6 pair of hands, and then he comes with the 2 pointing ones, and he has his fists as well. And then he comes with both of these hands. One's, for, one's the death beam. This is the death beam one right here, where his finger is more, um, <laughs> more, more pointing down a little bit. I mean, it's not fully extended like this finger. This one's the death ball right there, where his finger is fully extended. And then there's that one. That is all the hands he comes with, though. He also comes with some crossed arms right here. Oops. I really like this for Frieza. I always have him uh, pose with his crossed arms. He also comes with three pairs of heads. You get this one right here, where he's smiling like a piece like of shit. Don't fuck with me. Oh, sorry about the uh, F word right there. <laughs> but that's this face right here. And then he comes with this, the yelling face, screaming face, or really pissed off. I think he looks really badass when you have his head tilted down a little bit. And he's, because his eyes are looking up, so you could have him looking down like he's looking up. This face is pretty cool. And he also comes with this face. Like I said, when you re recreate this iconic scene when Goku does the spirit bomb and messes him up and uh, his eyes all closed right there. They also did some really nice, I like how they made this metallic purple. It looks really awesome. I really like how they did that. But those are the three heads he comes with. And that is all the accessories that Frieza comes with, which is a lot of accessories. Um... But let's take a closer look at the figure. Whoops. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Then I'll show you the articulation. And we will wrap up the review. But Frieza looks pretty damn awesome. He is one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z villains. He's really one of the best villains in Dragon Ball Z. He was just... He really did not give a shit. 
Frieza was just out for himself. He was just greedy for his own power. He was just didn't care about anybody, only himself. He just wanted to rule the universe, and he didn't care who he killed. He had no remorse for anything. That's why I liked Frieza, because he was really an evil villain. And a great paint, great sculpt all along this figure. He's not just a solid white. There's shading all throughout the figure, which is really nice. My favorite part, I think, is this uh, metallic purple they used. The paint they used looks really awesome. A really good job by Tomashi Nation. The only thing that bothers me with the Frieza figure is the shoulder parts right here. I think these should have been painted purple because it kind of ruins it right there. But that's really the only flaw on this figure to me is the shoulders right here not being painted purple. But the figure overall looks like nice shading right here. They got the purple there. Over here as well, there and there. This is a separate piece, this little purple part, because it can slide off. I remember I had another freezer and it kept like sliding off a little bit. I mean, it never popped off or anything, but. And you also get the uh, purple over there on, uh, I guess, those wrists. But they really did a nice job with this figure. Painted black in the ears. Nice paint sculpt. But uh, let me show you guys the articulation, and I will wrap up the review. But uh, Frieza's head is on the uh, basic ball joint. Most figure arts are on. And he also has a neck joint as well. A little bit of uh, articulation in the neck, which helps for the uh, articulation up by his head and neck. So his head can look left and right, up about that much, and then down about that much. It also tilts. And the neck helps him get better range of motion as well. As you can see the neck moving right there. Um, his shoulders, he's got the nice armpit joint right there. Get great range of motion right there. His shoulders go up and down as well. He has the bicep swivel. You can make him do a full 360. The double jointed elbows right there. And then he has the uh, ball hinge for the wrists as well. So you get great range of motion in the arm. Um, the upper torso, you can get it back about that much. Forward, it's kind of hindered by this piece, so you can't get the upper torso articulation to go forward that much. But you can get it to go side to side and swivels a bit as well. I think the waist articulation is better for the uh, torso area. Goes it swivels, goes back and forth as well. Whoops goes back and forth as well, uh, tilts as well, and I'll show you the swivel. His tail is on a ball hinge, so you get a nice range of motion with it. It spins around, swivels, goes up and down. You can get it, whoops, get it however you want. So a nice articulation with the tail as well, and his legs are on the basic Tomashi Nation joints. You could pop it down to get better range of motion right there, kick out to the back, to the side, to the front, to the back, <laughs> so swivels. Swivels a little bit, not too much. He has the uh, double jointed knees as well, and then he has the ball uh, ball hinge for the uh, ankle articulation, so you can get it up and down. Swivels and the ankle pivot, my friends. And that is all the articulation on the old freezer figure. But um, overall, this figure I highly recommend it. I think it is the best freezer figure ever made. Uh, Frieza is one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z villains, along with Cell. And uh, I do highly recommend it. He is getting very expensive right now. I paid a buck forty for mine on Amazon. Um, you could check agelessgeeks.com, which is where I got my Broly figure. He sometimes he has ones that are open but in light new condition, and he sells them a lot cheaper than how much Frieza is brand new. Or you could buy Frieza brand new. He might have them brand new. I didn't purchase it off him brand, uh, brand new because he only had um, open ones. So I bought mine off Amazon for. Uh, like a buck forty two or something. And it was Christmas money, so. But uh, I'm glad I got the uh, the Frieza figure. Like I said, I do highly recommend it. And uh, that is my review of the Lord Frieza figure. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And if you don't like it, you can go beep yourself. <laughs> and I'm out, everybody. I'll see you later. Next, I'll be having a Krillin review up. Ah, peace.